I'm just going to wing it. Get it? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a one hour holiday glam transformation, including a makeup look and as well as a little mini hair tutorial at the very end. So stay tuned for that. I am super excited because obviously Christmas is coming up and I love to whip out the red lipstick during this time of year. Usually I don't like the color red. I don't like red on my nails. I don't like red lipstick. I don't like red clothes. But during this time of year, I do like to whip out the red lipstick just to be a little bit more festive. So I did include a really pretty gold smoky eye with a wing and then as well as a red lipstick, some really pretty lashes. And then at the end of the video, I did include a mini little hair tutorial of this really pretty messy pony. So definitely stay tuned for the end if you guys want to see this little mini hair tutorial. I'm super excited. I love holiday makeup. I'm probably going to do a New Year's Eve glam as well next week so stay tuned for that before we jump right into this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future also don't forget to follow me on instagram ash luna so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes i will be posting a igtv of a grinch inspired makeup i did do a poll on my instagram yesterday on which makeup look i should do today if it was gonna be more of a grinch style makeup or a holiday makeup and most of you guys said holiday glam. Yeah, most of you guys did say holiday glam. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely give me a follow so you guys can keep updated on what I'm doing and stuff like that, and as well as these polls. And if you guys are interested to see this one hour holiday glam transformation, including makeup and a little mini hair tutorial, then just continue watching. So I'm gonna be pulling my hair back so it's out of the way. I might do like a mini little hair tutorial after this after the makeup, um, but we'll see. Maybe like a little low bun or something. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply some lip balm just to keep our lips hydrated while we're doing our makeup. I love these little lip balms from e.l.f. They're, it's the Ride or Die, and this one is in the Minty Mint. I do have some other shades, and for only six bucks, is it six or five dollars? These things are bomb, really, really nice. They feel really luxury on the lips. Nice and thick and moisturizing. We're gonna be doing a holiday glam today. I did do a poll on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, definitely follow me. I think I am gonna do more of a, kind of like a red lip with a nice pretty gold, um, like wing liner type of look. I did already prep my base. I did my morning skincare. In case you guys are interested, I will link it down below. But I already have my base on, so now we're gonna start with primer. I do like to start with my face first. It's just preference, unless I'm gonna be doing tons of glitter and all that, but I do prefer to do my base first. Um, so I am gonna start with primer, and I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer, is what it looks like. I love this stuff, it's super hydrating, and it does make your makeup last longer. But for work, I do use the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Serum. This feels super nice on the skin. It does feel more like luxur- 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 This does feel more luxurious on the skin, um, but this one does smell really nice. It smells like a spa. So I'm going to be applying this all over my face. Next, of course, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm going to be applying this on my T-zone area. I love this stuff. If you guys don't know already, this is like one of my writer dies. I will be doing best of 2020 beauty, so I'm sure I will be including this in that video. And I do like to press this into the skin, that way it can kind of fill in your pores. For foundation, I am going to be using one of my favorite foundations at the moment. It's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, and this is in the color 100W. We'll be doing two pumps of this. I am running out, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop by at Ulta and pick up another bottle. This is literally my third bottle. I'm that obsessed with that foundation. To apply my foundation, I'm just gonna be using a blending buffing brush. I did get this from Amazon. I think I got a pack of 10. It was super affordable. I think it was like $11 for like 10 brushes. I've been actually using foundation brushes recently to apply my foundation. I've just been giving the sponges a break. Um, I do apply my concealer with a sponge, but as far as 
foundation goes i've just been using a brush and i've actually really been enjoying it for concealer i'm going to be using my favorite concealer which is the elf hydrating camo concealer this is in the shade light beige and i do use this shade when i'm more on the tanner side To blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using my little sponge that I got from Shop Missé. This was only a dollar. And this sponge is so good and for the price. Like, you cannot beat it. I do have, like, several of these sponges just in case for backup. And I do have them in my makeup kit as well. It really sucks because I haven't been able to do makeup in such a long time because of COVID. Um, like, my salon isn't doing makeup at the moment just because it's just too up close and personal. You know, at the salon we have to wear a mask, so... I think I'm gonna be using my sister as a model pretty soon, maybe like in January. And just have her come over here and then maybe I can just like play with her makeup. Just so I can like film some content for you guys of like me doing makeup. As I apply my concealer, I do like to set my concealer immediately just to avoid creasing. And the powder I'm loving at the moment is from number 7. And you can actually find this at Target and it's super affordable. But it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I love this powder a lot. I'm going to be applying this powder right underneath my eye. For cream contour, I'm going to be using this Believe Beauty Dual Ended Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Light. This is what it looks like. You can find Believe Beauty at Dollar General, I believe. I did do a full face of makeup using everything $5 and under, and a lot of the stuff I did use in that video was from Believe Beauty, which you can find at Dollar General. If you guys are interested, I will link that video down below, but I really do like this contour stick. Um, it's really easy to apply. It blends super nice, so I'm just going to be... Applying a little bit here, underneath my jawline, on the side of my nose. And this is a Kardashian little hack, but you can put a little bit of contour right above your lips. And it will give you the illusion of bare lips. I know I look kind of crazy right now, but trust the process. To blend the contour out, I am going to be using this cute brush that I got from Shop Miss A. I do have two videos of me using Shop Miss A products, so if you guys are interested, I will link it down below. Don't sleep on their products. If you guys have never been on that site or have never shopped there, you guys need to because there's some really incredible things that are only a dollar or like under two dollars. For instance, this brush was only a dollar, and it's one of my favorite contour brushes at the moment. When I'm blending my contour underneath my jaw, whatever is left on the brush, I do like to go right underneath my jawline here, or underneath my chin, because it will give you the illusion of like a more snatched kind of chin. <laughs> After I'm done blending out my contour, I do like to set my contour immediately with a bronzer. The affordable bronzer I'm loving at the moment is from Wet n Wild, and this is in the color What Shady Beach Is. Sorry, this is like, the package is super beat up because obviously I love it and I've already hit pan. I do love this bronzer because the color is really nice on me and it blends really nice. Overall, it's just a really good bronzer for the drugstore. If you guys have something that you like better than this one, please let me know down below. Because I am always on a hunt to find the next best drugstore bronzer. After I set my contour with my bronzer, the next step I like to do is apply a little bit of cream blush. I am super into clean. I am super into clean. <laughs> clean. I am super into cream brushes. Brushes. I cannot. This is a tongue twister for me. I am super. <laughs> 2,000 years later. 
I am super into cream blushes at the moment. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. But the one I'm using today is the e.l.f. monochromatic blushes. I do have two other shades, um, but since we are going to be doing like a red lip today, I want to keep it pretty neutral. And this is in the color Bronzed Cherry. So I'm going to be applying a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit because I think this is super pigmented. I'm just going to use a brush to blend this out. And I do like to apply my cream blush before I set the rest of my face. I love the blush on the nose trend. I think it's so adorable. <laughs> I look like a little girl. I know that was like a summer thing to look more like sunburn. I don't know. I thought I was going to stop after summertime, but here we are in winter and I'm still applying blush on my nose. I just think it's cute. I feel like I look cold and, you know, I'm in the winter time, even though it's not cold here in Florida at the moment. Now that we have our cream blush on, I am going to be setting the rest of my face with the same powder I use underneath my eye. And I'm just going to apply some on my forehead, on my jawline. Around my mouth. A little bit more on my T-zone. So my base is pretty much done. I'm just going to be doing my brows really quickly. And my favorite brow product at the moment is from e.l.f. And it's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I love these things. They're only $2. Super affordable. So I'm just going to quickly do my brows. And I'll be right back. Now that I have my brows on, I am going to be doing my eyes now. And I did move you guys up a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. The palette I am going to be using mostly today is from ColourPop. And it's the Sandstone palette. This is a newer palette they just came out with. I did get this during Black Friday because it was on sale and I feel like the colors are perfect I'll give you like an up-close shot I love how there's a little bit more of like neutral tones in here and then you have like your gold and your browns I feel like this is perfect for the holiday glam because since I am gonna be doing a red lip I don't want my eyeshadows to be too orangey because those are the tones I like so I do love how there's more neutral tones in here so we're gonna be using this palette we might dig into another palette, we'll see. So I'm gonna be going in with a transition color first and I am gonna be taking Vortex, which is this really muted, neutral, like light color. So we're just gonna be popping this right in the crease. This color is perfect. This is like exactly the transition color I wanted. Now taking a smaller, dense crease blending brush, I'm going to be going in with the same color, Vortex, and just focusing it more in the crease. I love this color. It's like literally perfect. I've definitely learned my lesson. Um, with picking the right eyeshadow for the red lips because you don't want to go to like orangey tones and you don't want to go to like taupey i mean i guess it depends if you're wearing like silver or gold but with a red lip you want to keep it more neutral on the eyes and then you can do your pop of gold and your pop of silver on the lid but there are no rules to makeup so obviously you can do whatever you want i do like more natural uh, makeup so I do like to keep it more on the neutral side when it comes to like red lips for my eyes. The next color I'm going to go in in my crease is going to be this color right here which is called Quest Crew. And this is kind of like a muted like car caramel, <laughs> a muted camel color. So we're just going to again just apply that right in the crease. The next color I'm going to be using is this color right here which is called Grounded and it's a really pretty kind of like a cool tone brown. It's not a warm brown at all but I think it would be perfect for this look. So I'm going to apply some of this right on the outer corner and then I am going to be taking a smaller brush. This is what it looks like. 
I'm gonna be taking a smaller tapered blending brush and I'm gonna apply the same color grounded in my inner corner because I think I want to do a kind of like a halo eye it is my favorite type of eye makeup to do like the halo so I'm gonna be applying this on the outer corner and I am gonna be doing like packing motions because I want a lot of pigment and then we can blend it right after but I'm but we are gonna be doing packing motions and just kind of flicking it on the outer corner. Now taking the smaller blending brush, we're going to be using the same color grounded and packing it in the packing it. Packing it in the inner corner. This color is really pretty. It's perfect for this look because it's not too warm of a brown and it's not too cool tone either. It's really perfect for this look actually. And then with the same brush, I'm going to be applying a little bit more of grounded, but I'm going to focus it more on the outer corner just to give it some more depth. Now I'm just taking my little blending brush and just blending the edges. I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Now that we have our darker brown on our eyes, I'm going to be taking the same blending brush we used in the beginning for our crease color or for our transition color and I'm going to be applying the same color Vortex and I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of Quest Crew and we're just going to apply this all over the crease just to make sure everything is extra blended. Moving on to the lid color, I'm going to be applying this really pretty gold color here, which is called Red Earth. It's really pretty. I'll give you guys a swatch. It's really pretty, and I feel like this would be really nice on the lid, but I am going to amplify it up a little bit and apply a little bit of setting spray just to make it pop a little more since it's more of like holiday festive makeup. We're going to be applying this on the lid and again this is more of a halo inspired makeup look so I am going to be focusing this color more on the center of the lid. And if you have smaller eyelids definitely use a smaller brush that way you're not overdoing it. Now that we have our lid color on, I am just going to blend the edges out a little bit with the same crease color we used for the brown. I do want to add a little bit of black on the outer corners and maybe just a smidge in the inner corner. Unfortunately, this palette does not have a black. I feel like most palettes should have a black these days, but it's okay. I do have another palette from ColourPop, and it's the Good As Gold. I love this palette. I do get a lot of use out of this palette. I'm going to be applying a little bit of that black in here, which is called Let's Do It. So I'm going to be taking my smaller tapered blending brush here, and I'm just going to be taking a smidge of the black, just a smidge, and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit on the outer corner just to give it more depth. And I'm also gonna be doing a smidge in the inner corner. Before I apply my wing liner, I am gonna be going back in in this palette, Good As Gold. If you guys don't have this palette, you guys need to get your hands on this because it's just a good overall like goldish palette, obviously, hence the name. But I love that ColourPop has these like press glitters. I think it's such a good idea so you're not 
making a mess with like loose glitter. So I'm gonna be taking this pressed glitter here, which is called um, Owl Team. This is what it looks like. And it's literally pure glitter. And I do like to use my finger with this. And it's really nice because again, you're not gonna make a mess and it's not gonna go all over your face, all over the counter or all over your table. Um, there is a couple other golds here. There's more of like a like gold gold, um, but I do like more of like the bronzy gold because I feel like this is perfect for like Christmas and I don't know, this is just like my favorite type of like color here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a tiny bit of glitter on my lid. I love that these ColourPop palettes come with like little pressed glitters. I think it's such a good idea. Let me sanitize my hands really quickly because I don't want to get glitter all over me. Now moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is my favorite liquid liner and I love that there is a matte version. Also, I love how the brush applicator is super thin so you can really get a detailed sharp wing i'm just going to wing it get it <laughs> and a little tip if you can't master a wing liner you can use a little bit of tape and just apply some tape right here and just do your wing liner and then remove the tape and then you have a sharp wing but i am going to freehand it today Now that we have our liner on, I'm going to be going in and finishing up the lower lash line before we apply lashes. But really quickly, I'm going to prep the lashes and apply some glue on them. I don't know which lash I want to use. I do have these that I picked up from TJ Maxx. They were super cheap. They were $3.99 and they are 3D um, Fox Mink Lashes. And it says their retail is $6, so it's still pretty affordable, so I still wanted to mention it in this video. So I think I'm going to go with this style here, which is from Cairo Beauty, and it is in the style A60. And this is what it looks like. Again, I did get this from TJ Maxx, and it was only $3.99. Is it focusing? Here we go. Really pretty. So I'm just going to prep these really quickly. I'm going to cut them and apply some lash glue while... We're finishing up the lower lash line so i'm going to use the color grounded which is that same brown we put in the crease and i'm just going to apply this on my lower lash line Next, I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush. I'm going to apply the color, the color, the color Quest Crew. I'm just going to buff this right underneath the brown color. I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and I did get this from ColourPop during their Black Friday sale and it was such a good deal I had to get it. It comes with a bunch of their cream eyeliners and if you guys have never tried their cream liners they're really really good and for the price it's amazing. I'm gonna go for a brown color and this one is called Bruhaha. Is that really the name? <laughs> Bruhaha. I'll link it down below, but I think it's called Brew Haha. Ha. It's like a really pretty brown color, so I'm gonna apply this on my waterline. With a small flat square detail brush, I'm gonna go in with the color grounded, and I'm just going to kind of blend the gel liner a little bit. So it's a little bit more like smoky. 
Now I'm just prepping my lashes for falsies and I'm just applying some mascara. In my opinion, this is like the best part of doing my makeup is applying lashes. So I'm just going to pop these on really quickly. I just love the way the lash completes the eye makeup look and these lashes are perfect for this look. I mean, obviously you can skip the lashes, but... I just feel like they look extra bomb with it on. While my lashes are drying and kind of settling, I am going to be putting some inner corner highlight and I'm going to be taking this color right here which is called Pueblo and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this and also some setting spray just to kind of amplify it a little bit more. And I'm going to pop this right in the inner corner. Now that my eyes are completed, I'm going to move on to blush and highlighter and then lips. For blush, I'm going to be using this Essence blush in the color Bespoke. It's kind of like a neutral, like bronzy color. I feel like it's perfect with the red lip. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Highlighter and Golden Flower Crown. This is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. It's so bomb. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. Moving on to lips, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a red lip. So I do have a couple options here. I do have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink here. And then I have a ColourPop one, which I got last year, and it's called Snowflake. And then I also have this really pretty red one from like my Ipsy bag. So I'm not sure if this is drugstore or not. So I think I'm going to go with the ColourPop one, which is called Snowflake. Unfortunately, I lost my red lip liner. I don't know where it's at. I lost it. So instead, I'm going to be taking this MAC one here, which is called Chicory. And it's a kind of like a muted red. I feel like this works. It's more of like a brick red than a like fire cherry red. Oh, I should have exfoliated my lips before this. Ah. Note to self, definitely scrub your lips before you apply a bold color like this. It looks good, but I definitely needed to scrub and exfoliate, but it's okay. So I'm just going to be setting my face with my favorite setting spray it's from Catrice, and it's the Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. The makeup is completed. I just want to quickly kind of do something with my hair. Since I'm wearing like this really pretty dress and like gold earrings, I do want to put my hair up a little bit. And I think I'm going to do a low pony and just keep like these front pieces here. I'm just taking this hair tie here, which I got from the professional store, but I'm pretty sure you can get this on Amazon. It's such a good tool to keep your pony in place. So all you do is just kind of twist it around. And I'm just going to pull some pieces out here. And I think I'm going to pull some pieces out here too. I want it to be kind of like a messy low pony. And then to make this ponytail a little bit more elegant, you can kind of take a small piece of hair here, spray some hairspray, and wrap it around. The hairspray will keep it from falling out of place. And then all you need to do is just take a bobby pin and pin it into place just to secure it. And then you have yourself... And then you have yourself a cute, stylish holiday pony, ready for a holiday party, ready to go to a Christmas party, a New Year's Eve party, super cute and super easy to do. 
So that completes my one hour holiday glam transformation, including makeup and a quick little hair tutorial. I absolutely love this look. It's definitely one of my go-to Christmas looks to do around this time of year. I hate, I'm sorry, I, hate is a strong word. I strongly dislike the color red um, on me personally, on my lips, on my nails. Um, just in clothes in general. I'm just like not a huge fan of red, but during Christmas I do love to whip out the red lipstick and just be a little bit more festive for the holidays But definitely try out this look if you're going to a holiday party Christmas party Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate It's very festive and fun, but very sexy and sultry So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely give me a thumbs up Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye